Well, it seems like someone's being a bit of a elusive cat, but here it is, Hosanna. Now, he crossed, he's been crossing in and out of Little Gauri. We think he is um, stalking some, some impala that are not too far in the distance. So hopefully we'll be able to have a look at them or at him, a more proper look. But like I said, he is in a bit of a tricky spot because he's in between Chitua, Little Gauri and the main road. But here he is. He seems to be looking quite fine. And like we said, he's busy stalking. So hopefully we'll be able to see some action or maybe he'll even get up and give us a bit of a glance not the easiest guy to spot around this area. Hello. Good to see you. You've been naughty. <laughs> he crossed from from our side and uh, he was I'm sure he's been looking for food because he was missioning and uh, just like we saw with Tristan the other day doing that leopard walk going very very low now the other uh, or the impala that we're looking at they're not too far from where he is but they're still further south so if he does want to approach them then he's gonna have to take it very easy and very patiently because they could very easily spot him hello boy good to see you once more I can't see the impala from here. Sammy Jane, you're saying your favorite leopard. He is. I think he might be one of my favorite. Oh my god, that's a very rare vulture. Do you see that vulture there? Sorry guys, like I know we're looking at Hosanna, but up there we've got a white-headed vulture, which is quite rare around this area and we don't see them all that often. <gasps> that's amazing. And the only reason why we found him or why we saw him is because there are so many birds calling around it. How's that? That's incredible. The white-headed vulture. Another one for a list of vultures that we get around here. And I think it's my first time to see it up here in the Sabi Sand. I saw it first in the, in the south. But, oh, this is such a good find as well. I just want to grab the book so that I can show you why it's a special vulture. That is incredible, guys. And huh, Hosanna is looking in that direction as well. I think maybe also he understands just how rare this vulture can be. Very exciting times ahead. They're normally in pairs, so I wonder if perhaps the other one is not somewhere around here as well. Marisol, you say that you've never seen one. Well, this is amazing. We've got another big one to tick off our lists. And just... I would like to thank Hosanna for bringing us here and then us being able to, to spot it. I think even the leopard got involved in this teamwork. But oh, this is wonderful and we don't get to see them all that much. Arla Moore, you're wondering how big it is. So it's about 92 to 96 centimeters according to the book. And um, it's currently classified as a vulnerable species by the by the red list of the IUCN. So it's also defined in the book as an uncommon resident. That's a very pretty pair of putting it. So we are looking at something that's very, very special. A leopard that led us to a vulture. Ha! That is great! I think that's been an incredible find. And look, our very good boy Hosanna is still there. <laughs> Hasn't moved that much. Ah, oh, yawning, are we? I think maybe he's been walking for quite a while during the night. Maybe that's why he's a bit tired now and not wanting to approach those impala just yet. And like we know, it's a game of patience, so it's not easy for him when he goes hunting. Now there's a bird around here that's making an alarm call, so I wonder if perhaps he's spotted Hosanna or if he's actually looking at the vulture up in the tree, because they're not too far apart. 
Seems, however, that the bird has gone quiet. I wonder if it was a roller. It's quite an ugly call, and for such pretty birds, the rollers have some of the worst calls. Hmm. It was a roller. Len, you're wondering if we've uh, you're wondering if we've seen Shangila lately. Uh, I don't think any of us have seen her on site. I think I was the last person to see her last week, and um, she was looking fine. She was busy stalking um, squirrels. Hello, I can't believe how much this boy has grown. And um, so we we actually haven't heard from any of the other lodges, or at least I haven't heard from the other lodges if perhaps they've seen her. But I think sometimes she's spent a bit more time around the lodge. Now there was another sighting on Torchwood, not too far from, from our side, of Tingana and a female leopard. I don't know if it's perhaps her. Um, unfortunately we can't go to that sighting because it's in an area that we cannot traverse with, but they're not too far from here. So who knows, perhaps it is her. I'm just gonna have to wait for the guys to try an idea and let us know. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have stopped moving there, so let's try to reposition, see if perhaps we can get a bit of a view, or of a better view. Ah. There's a squirrel now that's only caught up to the fact that there's a leopard here. Oh, and look, he's moving now. You gave it away, squirrel! Don't push him. So I'm sure you guys can hear the squirrel alarming. And there he goes. Oh, no boy, don't, don't carry on walking in that direction. Mm. Mm. Let's just see, there's... The cut line there, not too far from where we are. So maybe we'll be able to pick him up there. But if he carries on walking in the direction that he is, we might not be able to keep up with him any longer. Because he would have crossed into another property. I can't see him now. I'm being attacked. Um. Can you see him now, Craig? I've lost him. Um. I think he was walking along here. Three o'clock, okay. Yeah. Catherine, you're saying great camouflage. It is great camouflage indeed. He's making it very hard for us to be able to keep up with him in this very thick area. And oh, I think this is as far as we can go and he's carried on walking. Um, let's see if maybe we can have another glimpse of him, but like I said, we are unfortunately in the cut line. So if he's carried on moving in that direction, then he's crossed onto an area that we can't really follow him into. And I think he has by the looks of it. There he is. Let me just go slightly forward. I think there's an open gap here. There he is. He's carried on walking. Oh, who knows, maybe he'll, his travels will, will bring him back onto the main road. We're not too far from the main road, so I'm hoping that maybe he's going to come back up. Ooh. This seems to be a bit of a tough one. Alright, well, I think we are unfortunately going to have to leave him, because it doesn't seem like he's going to come back this way, and like I said, we are on the cut line, so we can't really follow him anymore. 
But good to know that he's been around. At least we had a bit of a glimpse of the of the prince himself, and we know that he's doing just fine. So while we get ourselves out of here, perhaps maybe get another look. Let's go over to Byron and see how his animal search is going.